Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Claude here. Thank you for joining me for your messages from your ancestors tarot reading. This is going to be a reading for the people born under the Hermit card and the Moon card. And if you do not know what your tarot birth card is, there is a link in the description box below to a video to um, work it out. So as always, I'd ask that you please bear in mind that those are general readings. I'm going to channel different messages from different ancestors and it may or may not resonate with you. Now, if you would like to connect to the energies of my deck, now's the time to take a couple of deep breaths as I shuffle my cards. So what do my querents, born under the Hermit card and the Moon card, need to hear from their ancestors for their highest good, please? So your first message is card 46, Root Girl, the disowned self. As you can see from the symbolism on the card, this is a message to do with a part of yourself that you have turned your back on. You may have neglected your inner child, you may have um, buried a part of who you really are, and your ancestors are asking you to have a look at this because this is something that you need to address. We also have a card 33, Joyful Muse and Inspiration. So this is a message about digging deep to find your inspiration. It may well be that those two are linked in other words, that your inspiration will come from that part of yourself that you have locked away. Um, sometimes, um, particularly with um, creative um, arts, when we tap into something that was painful or something that maybe we feel guilt when we think about it, um, it can really provide us with inspiration and it also helps us heal and mend when we create something based on that feeling, that pain. It's a way of, of dealing with it, of not locking it away, but actually mending it, acknowledging that it is part of who we are, that it's part of our growth. So there may well be um, linked messages. Again, take what resonates. It may not be for some of you. So let's see what this oracle deck has for us. I obviously will clarify all of this with the tarot in a minute. For some of you, you may also have turned um, your back on bouts of creativity that you've experienced. In other words, you may be someone who's very, very creative and would do really well in a creative career, but you you're doing a job that's actually very conservative and doesn't fulfill you. And so all of that creativity that's within yourself, you may have l locked it away and you're just, you know, grinding, going to work every day just to pay the bills. And it may, um, it may actually be so destroying for some of you. That's a special message for someone out there. Someone needed to hear that. This also may well be just a call to get inspired so that you, you can um, do something that's going to be more meaningful to you. That's what I'm hearing. And from this deck we have card 36, Life Review. Again, this is that message when I said you need to look at something. I said to you, as soon as this card came out, I said, your ancestors are saying to you, okay, there is a part of you that you've locked away, that you've not looked at, for whatever reasons, and please do not think I'm judging, okay? Absolutely no judgment here. But because maybe you feel shame, guilt, maybe because you've been hurt, because it's too painful to look at it, there's a wound or something, and now we have the card of life review, looking back on what's happened, looking back on maybe as well, or what you've achieved and how far you've come. Obviously, take what resonates. And 
the card of letting go, card 19, and obviously some pain that needs to be let go of. So you see for me, with the disowned self, as I was telling you, let me just move this in the frame, if this is pain, pain, you know, a painful event, a wound, a scar, um, your ancestors are saying to you that now is time to let this go. Look back on your life and feel inspired to manifest something that's going to be so much better for you rather than creating um, from the same space all the time, which obviously will manifest the same outcome every single time. They're also saying that you're not going to be able to manifest the best for yourself until you let go of the pain or the guilt or the shame that you have locked away. That's what I'm hearing. So can you clarify those messages with the tarot, please? Now, you know, when you're born under the Hermit card and the Moon card, you are very intuitive people. People who are reflective, who go within, um, in touch with your feelings, your emotions, a lot of inner knowing. So this is something that you really need to have a look at. You'll know what it is, is what I'm trying to say to you. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Wow, double aces, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy at work that you may or may not be aware of, we have the Eight of Cups. Well, yeah, I think that with the messages I've just given you, you're aware of it now. Because the Eight of Cups is that very empowering energy of turning your back on something because you know something better awaits you. So Cups represents the water element, so your feelings, your emotions. The Eight of Cups is a, an energy that's very empowering because this is realizing that you are worth more than what you're currently getting or that you have uh, outgrown a situation or a relationship and with this come the power. You decide, okay, well, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go to my Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment. But it's not an easy energy because it's never easy to turn your back on something. You know, realizing that we've outgrown something or someone that, um, or that something no longer serves us, it's, it's never easy. So, but that's what it is ultimately. And this is where your ancestors are trying to get you with this card of letting go. You know, the life review, look back on it and then let it go, move on. Because you have got some very exciting new beginnings coming your way right here. So you have actually a very, very positive message because all of the cards are incredibly positive. We have the Four of Wands, so two Wands cards to do with your passion, your desire, with your, your spirit. Now the Four is the number of strong foundation, stability. So when we reach that stage of stability um, after having pursued something with a lot of passion and drive, we have something to celebrate. It's a landmark. So the Four of Wands is that energy of celebration. So this may well be a um, something that you uh, achieved in your career, or it could be um, a relationship that's been um, committed, you know, because the Four of Wands can talk about, you know, engagements, these kind of things. So this is what this is about. This is what this shows. And then we've got this beautiful Queen of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles energy is Earth energy, so it represents your day-to-day -day life. So either home life, work life, um, it's a very grounded energy. And the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is very nurturing, very pragmatic, and knows how to grow the coin. This is someone who knows how to be stable and abundant, which they're showing me that this is what you've achieved, okay? This is the life review side of it. This is what you've achieved. You've done all of that. And now is the time to start anew, to embark on a new journey. Maybe to let go the safety. Um, if this is um, maybe a career that you've worked hard on and so on. Because inspiration is coming with the Ace of Wands. Now the Aces 
in any suits represent the origin, the seed, um, and they hold the potential of the of the suit. So the Ace of Wands can be uh, an offer that really excites you. It could also be an outburst of creativity. It could be something that, you know, it, it's just gonna sweep you off your feet. And with the Ace of Cups next to it, this has the potential of bringing you emotional fulfillment, sheer, pure happiness. Now, this could be the birth of a new project. This could be the birth of a new romantic relationship. This, and I mean, with your soulmate. This could be the birth of a child, literally, um, or the birth of a new business that you're trying to create, of a, of a new uh, artistic project. Whatever this cup of joy is, whatever um, is for you emotional fulfillment, is what this is going to represent. With passion, excitement. So I can't begin to tell you how happy I am for you when I see this because you look back on your life, okay, so you've achieved a lot, you've got that stability, and now it's time for you to embark on a brand new journey. So let go the safety and embark on something that's going to be very transformational for you and very, very exciting. Um, and this is linked to this disowned self. You may have repressed the creative side of you. It doesn't have to be uh, the pain or the guilt I was talking about that you may feel about something, but it may be that in order to get to that stability that you currently have experienced, you may have had to get rid of a part of you. In other words, uh, fit in is what they're saying to me. You know, do a, a conservative career so that you can pay for the bills, but deep down you're not happy. Um, it's like it's, it's draining your soul is what I'm hearing and now it's time for you to embrace that new path and let go of this in order to have something much more exciting and that holds the promise of uh, emotionally fulfilling you, you know, be a better match for you. So this is very exciting. So can we have a um, couple of final messages please from my querents? This is a, a turning point for you, it really is, I, I'm, I'm sensing it. I'm sorry, I keep on dropping all of my cards in your reading, that's really strange. Alright. So we have, first quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. I'll go back to that in a second. And we also have first quarter moon in Leo, be humble. Okay. So release your blocks. This is again, as I was saying to you, you may have um, compartmentalized a part of who you are. And this is your ancestors saying, hey, embrace this Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups energy of brand new beginning, excitement. And, and just let go, okay? Let go of what may be the Queen of Pentacles, very pragmatic view of, no, 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 I need to be stable, I need to do this so I can pay my bills. Now again, obviously you do you, I'm just telling you the messages, I'm not telling you to leave your jobs and, and end up in debt, that's not what I'm saying. But the, the messages your ancestors are saying to you is embrace the creativity, the newness of this. Obviously don't do anything rash but make sure that you do not block yourself, you don't put uh, obstacles in your way because everything is starting to line up for you and now is the time for you to investigate those new ways, you know, those new paths for your life. And be humble. Now, um, to be quite honest with you, I'm a bit surprised to see this here because I, I, I did not detect any messages to do with, with lacking humility. Um, but this is fire energy. Um, Leo, which can be a bit of exuberant energy, so because it's got the Ace of Wands here, you know, when we feel passionate about something, we may sometimes become um, a little bit over the top, you know, with excitement, and this is just a reminder from your ancestors to remain, um, you know, to have humility, to make sure that you don't get carried away, is, is what I'm hearing, because sometimes when we are inspired, when we are infused, um, we may we may get carried away, and that that's what I'm seeing with this. Be humble, but that's that's all I'm getting from that. 
So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you found this message helpful in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, I thank you for your time. It's your most precious commodity. I'm truly humbled you chose to spend it with me. I wish you a wonderful end of the month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.